here's a look at what you're talking about on Twitter with our Ford Power Rank. First up, you can't even call her a teenage sensation. Lucy Lee has qualified for the U.S. Women's Open, and she's only 11, which begs the question, what are you doing with your life? The fans had to weigh in. They said, let's all feel old together. Golfer Lucy Lee, who just qualified for the U.S. Women's Open, is 11. She was born in 2002. That's Salt Lake City Olympics year, the movie 8 Mile, and Nickelback. Does not seem all that long ago. Kelly Tillman of Golf Channel. Who could have imagined an 11-year-old girl, Lucy Lee, would compete at Augusta National and Pinehurst this year, and Tiger Woods wouldn't. I bet Tiger Woods has golf spikes older than Lucy Lee. I know that I do. A final fan tweet. Apparently, these are Lucy Lee's clubs for the Women's U.S. Open. She got them from Santa Claus. Of course, they're the Barbie clubs there. But I bet you wouldn't say that to her face when she's hitting more greens than you at the nine-hole municipal course. Next up, the NBA draft lottery is tonight in Times Square. And if Andrew Wiggins gets his wish, Canadian-born players will have gone number one overall two years in a row. Of course, Anthony Bennett was last year's top pick. Here's what the fans had to say. Andrew Wiggins says he should be the number one pick. I've always put myself above anyone else. That's just me. And with a 44-inch vertical, he means that literally. Another fan tweet, very intrigued with the NBA draft lottery could affect the Kevin Love Derby. We will talk about that exact point later on in the show with SI senior writer Chris Mannix. A final fan tweet. NBA draft lottery predictions. Lakers and Celtics get the first two picks and Twitter goes crazy. That's about it. Now, who does have the best shot at getting that number one overall pick? It's the Milwaukee Bucks at 25%. The Celtics and the Lakers weighing in at fifth and sixth. Just a 6.3% chance that L.A would get the number one pick. On Twitter, we asked you, who do you think will win the number one overall pick and who should they select? We'll read your tweets later on in the show. And finally, the NFL owners meetings kick off in Atlanta and topping the agenda is the vote for which city will host the Super Bowl in 2018. The New Orleans Saints tweeted a photo, a 2018 helmet, but let's be honest, tweeting a photo of Bourbon Street or a shrimp po' boy probably would be more effective. You know that everyone's thinking about it. The editor of the Sports Illustrated group, Paul Fichtenbaum, has Peter King's odds for the 2018 Super Bowl host city. New Orleans, 2-1. to one. Indianapolis and Minnesota, both at 7-2 to two odds. And the Colts tweeted a quote from their owner, Jim Ursay. I have a deep belief that we can do it better than any city. And having been there, he's not wrong. But the timing could be bad for the Colts owner, considering he was recently charged with four felony counts of possession of controlled substances. Hit me. Hey there, SI fans. I hope you enjoyed this clip from our daily live show, SI Now. You can find a link to the complete episode in the description box below. And while you're there, Make sure you subscribe to Sports Illustrated's YouTube channel. Remember, you can watch SI Now Monday through Friday live at 1 p.m. Eastern Time only on SI.com. All right, go along. You ready? Hope to see you there.